All right, that's a little taster for the Sean Mendes guitar lesson for There's Nothing Holding Me Back. Right, let's get straight into it. We're going to begin with the fifth fret on the B string. And you're going to use your middle finger for that. And you will slide it from five to seven. And that's a slide. Like that. And then you land back to the five without sliding back. So they're separated. So we go like this. Right, so we get three, four, one. All right, do that one more time. One, two, three, four, one. And then we go up from the seventh fret then to the eighth. Same pattern, slide from seven to eight, then back. Okay, so, so far we get this. We get three, four, one. And then the reason I'm using my middle finger is because my index will block any unwanted notes. If you use your index, there's a bit of a danger in notes ringing out in the background. All right, so we have five to seven, then seven to eight. Then we go back five to seven. All right, so that is the simple way to do it first. Uh, so I'll play all that at once. Three, four, one. Okay, so those are the simple notes to do it. And then to the other, the I'm just adding in a little bit of a pan mute there, or sorry, a, a ghost note there. So what I'll do is I'll get this here. So I'm gonna go. Okay, so for that, I'm not pressing straight away. So you're on the fifth fret, but just relax the finger. So we get this and we get. So you pick that twice with the ghost note down. And then that means you'll slide the seven to the five with an up pick. And then you pick down for the last note. So you go. And you do the exact same thing for the other notes. So again, you're not pressing, you get the click and you pick down, down, then press and pick up and then pick down. Alrighty, so that is the sort of the hook there for the guitar. And now for the verse, the I wanna follow where she goes. Those are basically all the notes. So what we'll do here is we'll take a look. We're gonna get our index on third fret of E Okay, then index on fifth fret of A. Very quickly move to seventh fret on E. And then you hit that fifth on A again. So we go. Okay, now what happens after that is, well, you may notice like in the verse, it's palm muted, which means my palm is pressed down on the strings. Kind of mutes it. Then we go all together. So it's going from the start, it goes three, five on A to seven on E, then five on A again to five on E. Repeat that, five, five, then five. Now, if anybody's looking for the play through this, I do have a video done already and it will pop up. Okay, so you see all this in action. Now, that is the, <clears throat> the verse, excuse me. Okay, and then for the pre-chorus, the she pulls me in enough to keep me guessing, you can play the exact same thing there as well. 
She pulls me in enough to keep me guessing mm-hmm. Maybe I should stop Sorry, confessing, confessing, yeah Now, leading into that chorus, that line will go three, five, seven, five, five, then you're going to put on a power chord there. You're going to get your index finger on five on E and then ring finger on seven of A. And that leads us into our chorus, the Oh, I've been shaking it That is like the same notes as the verse, just with like chords. So we get our power chord. Okay, so that's third fret on E and ring finger on fifth fret of A. So that's our power chord shape. And I'm only strumming those two strings. So we strum that. Then we go to five on A with that shape, seven on E with that shape. And you see the way it's moved around, like it's the same as the verse. Now with it there, I'll just name those positions one more time. So you have three on E, Five on A to seven on E. Five A, seven E, then five A to three E, and we go back and over between those. Okay, so that is our chorus. Now, the thing about it is, it all repeats then, like, so it goes back in, baby, there's nothing holding me back. You can play that if you wish, or you can go. That fits along with the like that. Or you can also play the power chords very quietly if you want. So all those fit together. Now, next up we have our next verse, which is the same. Okay, and with the same thing, she pulls me in enough to keep me guessing. And the end. It's the same again. We have another chorus, and then we have another sort of hook. We go back into that. Now, one thing to check here is the following. Um, the bridge, okay? It is the same stuff. Because if we lost our mind and took away the bottle, it would we'll be all right. We will be all right if you were by my side. Stumbled in the dark, I know. It's the same as the verse. You can also do like, because if we lost our mind, I took away the power, no, we we'll be. You can do the power chords too. Okay, but the danger is you've got to keep it quiet because. Oh, I've been shaking. And It goes straight into that, again, the chorus again. And that's basically the whole song, it'll go. And that leads us into the outro. So those are all the sections. Any questions, post a comment below. I will be happy to answer. Don't forget to subscribe and hit like and all that stuff. And happy playing, and I'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.